Hello. So physics can't really be done without doing experiments, and we be we make these laws in theory by ex by experimenting with things by observing what nature shows us. So in physics, uh, studying theory and solving numericals is as important as doing experiments. So in this video, we'll experiment. We'll see how light bends. when it reflects so let, let me just show how you know how this angle of incidence and angular reflection are related through a through an experiment okay so this is the apparatus this is a laser okay and like of course you know now again a question for you what does a laser do and how does it do it okay now these are two glasses and let me just show you one thing If I pass light through this glass, then the path of the light is not visible. Of course, you can see some bright spots on the glass and on the wall. Now, this is because there's some refraction ha happening at the edges, and this glass has some design, so that's why you're getting uh, bright spots here, and you know some things light is getting refracted to other surfaces. But we can neglect that. Now, the the important thing was that the path was not visible. Okay. the path of light is not visible whereas in this glass the path of light is visible yeah so why what makes these two glasses different the thing is that this glass has nothing except air in it okay so ordinary air now in this glass i feel smoke of incense stick an incense stick is an agarbatti so there is smoke inside this glass now my question another question for you is that why does how does uh, smoke help in seeing the path and if i for a clearer demonstration if i put these two together and now pass the light the path of the light is only visible in the left glass and not on the light, right glass so now let us do this exp and another thing okay is this cd and the cd is a very special cd because it has a, mir a mirror attached to it so this is the mirror okay yeah i hope you clearly see this one is the mirror so i am going to incident light on this mirror and we'll see how it inter interacts so let me switch off the light okay now we are ready to do this i am going to switch this on okay let me just Okay, beautiful light show. Okay, now see, focus on the top of the mirror. Okay, this this part. Yeah, how does light bend? Even if I change this, these two angles, this one and this one, seem to remain the same. And if you measure them, they will exactly be the same. Of course, you might have might have some error, but you can neglect that. Okay, so let me. Oh yeah, see, even if as I move this light, I'm keep moving it, so it's going towards the right, and now towards the left. The angle, the angle which the incident ray and the reflected ray subtends with this mirror is equal. So this demonstrates our reflection of light. and of course if these two angles are equal this angle and this angle are equal then you can draw a normal right there and then you can show that angle of incidence the one that the incident ray makes with the normal will be is equal to the angle of reflect angle of reflection an angle of reflection is the angle which light reflected ray makes an angle with the normal okay so yeah beautiful right okay so that was it for now today and i hope you like such experiments so next time we'll meet and hopefully say something else